going into value, uh, relationship capital has been an over overarching theme with our titans. And our next marketing titan, she is really good at generating instant rapport. Uh, she's done it in an industry that isn't taken seriously sometimes unless there's a person who's making a lot of money then it's taken very seriously and I'm talking about the industry of multi-level marketing or network marketing some people dabble in it and it's not taken seriously other people make a ton of money from it and they really take them seriously what's most important is generating or initiating that spark that relationship capital that can get a downline to really work on your behalf day and night like a sales force and that's marketing so I want to introduce to you Vanessa Horn and Vanessa as you'll see is very good at starting the report process what's your topic today and why you uniquely qualified Vanessa go for it hello Alex pleasure to be here it is the topic I'm speaking on is how to build a successful network marketing business which is an essence like you said relationship capital is at stake how to do it in such a way that you're not running off your friends, your family, or losing your soul in the process. And the reason why I'm so passionate about this subject is uh, whenever I left corporate America and I had dabbled in entrepreneurship, had successfully created a franchise, and I went into network marketing, within record time, within a 12-month period, we were already generating a million dollars in revenue sales for the company. So it created a substantial six-figure income for myself that I was able to leave my corporate job. But the thing is, is that I paid a price in doing it. And so I went on to do it a second time for another company, building a multiple six-figure income and leveraging key things that are not taught in the network marketing industry. And so it's my passion to instill these tools so that people can be successful and not sell out or, or lose their soul in the process of doing it. One thing that really hammers home is not going to family or friends or the warm market as it's called and that's what most network marketing sales professionals teach go to the warm market and when you burn through there if you don't have a winner or if you don't have a down, you know one or two downline members who are going to continue the process and find that one nugget then you really don't have a downline so you're saying just the opposite or you're really conflicting with the going with the warm market why are you not going with family friends and 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 how does that work tell us the process that that works well, I'm not saying not talk to friend, family and friends. I'm saying to do it in such a way that you're not losing those relationships. And unfortunately, so many people go into network marketing. As a matter of fact, statistically, they're saying by the year 2015, 50 percent of households will have tried network marketing. Now the thing is is that only three percent are making enough to really even cover their expenses and only a small percentage are making substantial incomes. And so my passion is how to infuse people who don't who will go through their friends and family and do it in such a way that they're ostracizing them. And so there's a couple of really key strategies that I teach. And so now I have done it in myself and I've worked with distributors across dozens of companies and as a matter of fact even work at a corporate level with companies to work through these principles to infuse the, the field with a stronger sense of purpose and strategies that eliminate the top key fears because the top key fears are fear of rejection, fear of, of not having success from their efforts. These are the top key fears, and so how do we eliminate these things? So number one, I really advocate that someone needs to tap into what is their overarching purpose and message, and to brand that, because if they can see that their company is mainly a vehicle for the expression of that, they can start to articulate what is the transformation that somebody would have from working with them. Because the bottom line is, is that people join people. And what happens is a lot of people go into network marketing and you see it. I mean, I see it all, all over the place because I work online and I work with people on Facebook and other social media networks and they are blasting their company all over the place. And what happens is they end up blending in just like everybody else and it's not long before their friends and family delete them and saying, okay, block, that person's on a rampage about their company, I don't want to hear about it. They're going to come and trample on me and 
hijack any amount of time I might give them. So I say instead to do it strategically, brand yourself, talk about the transformation that somebody could have from working with you. Your company becomes a, a, a vehicle for that a brand and an asset that is your own. So this is your own list. This is your own group of people that you're working and serving. And then what that allows you to do is to create multiple streams of income. That is why business tycoons like Donald Trump, like Robert G. Allen, author of Multiple Streams of Income, people like Jan Canfield of of Chicken Soup for the Soul. These are why these, Danny Johnson, I could go on and on, people who have strategically branded themselves but know the brilliance of network marketing, which is that residual income, but that is not at the forefront. They're not capitalizing on the brand of the company. They're building their own brand asset. So I work with clients to create that brand of what is your unique message? What is your unique transformation that you can offer of service? How does your company fit into that? And how do we take that online? Now, Alex, you have been really critical in my process here of taking this into, because Facebook is the top 1.19 billion users. And so I really teach Facebook strategies. But the second key thing I teach is G+, and using Google Hangouts. Because in network marketing, it is untapped of people really recognizing the power of what a Google Hangout can do. Because network marketing companies are, they generally set aside millions of dollars to fly in top proven leaders, to come and meet the owners, to meet the top leaders of the company, to re-enroll people who may have earned, and I, I've been at, flown into multiples of these events, but they're looking at a threshold of somebody who's earned $5,000 or more in the industry. Generally, you can be, flown out to a company and wined and dined to join their company, and especially if you've had success much more than that. And so this platform, Google Hangouts, allows company owners, allows top leaders to bring their message to the medium of Google Hangouts where people can build that rapport through a camera that's more than just a voice on a telephone call, but really getting to see. And it, it's so important. People want to look in the eyes of somebody that they're going to do business with and be able to trust them. The other key thing is that they can use Google Hangouts for the training of their team and really bringing in prospects to get that buy-in, to really tap into what is that prospect's true desires and looking at how that company can be a vehicle of their best expression. Well, I, of course, agree with you, and I do have a bias. I want to clarify, you do advocate going to the warm market. It's just how you're going to the warm market that counts so you maintain your dignity and you maintain those relationships. So you teach people how to do it like you uh, outlined. And what purpose is, is the fuel or the passion behind those daily connections. Without that, there's no way you can continue. Is that accurate now? Is that more accurate to what you believe in? Yeah, because if you set a powerful presence online, a powerful brand, and doing it in such a way that you're attracting the right prospects to pursue you, I'm really against the business of pursuing others and like pouncing on them to do business, but how do you invite pursuit? And so that's really how to build a profit with honor. And when you're doing that, you're not depending on friends and family to be successful because you really have an endless stream of prospects who are pursuing you. And it's a game changer. It's a game changer when I work with clients to do it differently than what they've been taught to do. And it eliminates the fear. It eliminates the procrastination or the motivation of, now how do I pick up the phone and do this? No. Let's set the framework for what are you really about. Let's brand you and let's optimize an online presence that attracts the right people to you. It's really bringing in these strategies from online marketing, bringing in the strategies I learned from my franchise, and bring them into what's not taught in network marketing. Well, thank you, Vanessa, for joining us. And ProfitWithHonor.com is what you're talking about, and that's what you represent. Thank you again. Thank you. Thank you.